today we are going to do a story on the click renaissance uh, demonstrator pen <clears throat> okay 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 i know that uh, i have done this story before but the point is many of you have called me up and written to me and have communicated the fact that there were that you have many questions that were not answered by the previous video and you have asked me to redo uh, kind of uh, the redo the story or to uh, stress on the facts to answer the questions that you have about this pen now i have decided to do, redo this video or i mean do this video again kind of primarily because it's such a popular pen and um, because there are so many questions this is the pen uh, we are talking about this is the pen that i had shown in the earlier video but what i'll do is or what i have done is i've got another uh, is you know renaissance demonstrator pen and i will be doing a kind of an unboxing for you primarily because i have been using this pen for a long time now and this is inked and uh, you know some of the questions that you have uh, i would otherwise not uh, be able to address or answer unless i use a new pen so here bowing to your uh, wishes is a new click renaissance demonstrator and we are going to talk about this pen now now uh, as you can see this uh, i mean apart from you must have seen this oh, ah. you must have seen this a million times uh, the usual click papers and this time around i have got a saffron colored or call it it's with a tinge towards the brown uh, colored uh, renaissance demonstrator now uh, this pen as you can see this is pretty bauhaus bauhaus in the sense that uh, form follows function philosophy this is a aesthetically very beautiful pen it looks beautiful uh, with these twin lines towards the base of the cap and uh, the clip line towards the uh, other end the towards the top fillion and uh, this uh, how do you put it this clear uh bottom very tapers towards the end this is also uh straight flat and uh, this beautiful solid piece of acrylic which uh, kind of adds a hint of color and uh, makes it uh, look bottom heavy look more pronounced towards the bottom which uh, gives it a very elegant and uh, aesthetically very pleasing look to the eye so that's the first thing that i wanted to, to point out the second thing that i want to say is which many people have asked is uh, to explain how this jovo nib unit works uh, now as we know that uh, these pens come with a detachable jovo nib unit which means i mean and we are not talking to the experts or the connoisseurs i am not and uh, with due respect to all of you i am uh, trying to answer these questions because these questions have been raised and i'm <clears throat> not trying to encroach upon your uh, territory sirs and madams please forgive me now the point is this is a <clears throat> you know screw in nib unit which means that these nib uh, units can be screwed out so this is the entire nib unit as you can see which can be screwed in the question is where is the big deal about uh, you know a nib unit that screws in and the answer is very simple number 
uh, you can take it off to clean the pen very easily. That's number one. Number two, for many connoisseurs, all you need to do is just change the nib units, which give you an, uh, a huge variety of nibs to play with. You know, you can get a bold or a medium or a fine or a flex or it is, you know right oblique left oblique so many kinds of nib units are available so you can just change the nibs and the, on the same pen and uh, keep using it so that's the positive advantage and this is how it works like i showed you you can just unscrew the thing and change it uh, you know to take another one possibly and uh, just fit it up just screw it in it's it's as simple as that so that's number one number two what we will do next is you know attach attach the converter so that we can draw in ink and uh, write and show you so this is how the converter goes in and the <clears throat> point to be noted here is that the click converters are also very good i mean in this pen the converter is very good very robust very well made like everything else about this pen and um, so here it is we clip it up and uh, put on the cap but uh, I, I want to put on the cap because I want to tell you something please take a look at this pen this is a beautiful pen not only is it beautiful and aesthetically pleasing it's extremely well made it's extremely well made which means that the you know the polish on the surface is so good that uh, I don't recall uh, very many pens of Indian make now please remember that click is a mass producer of pens it's not about you know handcrafting one pen and continuing uh, with your uh, buffing to get this kind of a finish it's easy to get this kind of a finish on ebonite but on acrylic to get this kind of a finish means you are an expert in whatever you are doing and uh, click is certainly an expert to have achieved this kind of a finish in a pen now this uh, is a robust pen it, uh, it you know feels good in the hand it uh, weighs just about right and uh, this is very nice size uh, considering the the grip section and the the grip section is just about right for holding and uh, the, the you know the threads here are not very sharp or edgy so if you hold it even on the thread uh, this pen is pretty uh, pleasurable to write with so that's it what we will do is let us ink it up and uh, show you how it writes so because the goodness of the pudding is judged by its taste ultimately let's see what uh, let's have a brownish color okay we'll we'll fill this up with brown ink to see how it writes and show you how it writes to show the writing samples and uh, <clears throat> So here we have filled it up with brown ink and let's see how the brown sugar tastes. Uh, let's and I hope you guys can see uh, my writing this thing. Uh, this see first time around and I have inked it. Uh, in front of you see how beautifully it writes this is a click renaissance demonstrator pen with the Joe Nib unit. This is January 
see that now that there are a couple of things that I wanted to mention about this pen number one uh, I mean uh, this is not necessarily number one I've lost track of the other points that I was making but I what I want to say uh, about this uh, click pen is you must have noticed that what click is doing is that it is progressively walking up the ladder of quality offerings you know instead of focusing on what it has or instead of trying to flog a dead horse and things like that it's constantly reinventing itself and it's coming up with newer and newer offerings for the fountain pen lovers now as it expands or betters its game as it hones its, uh, you know, expertise, as it uh, kind of, uh, you know, puts more edge on its swords or on its, I mean, because the fountain pen is mightier than the sword. So we can call them swords of the modern day. So as Click goes about uh, honing their edges of this Damascus uh, swords, uh, what is happening is that it is uh, constantly on its way up elevating itself and uh, going on to better and better positioning wherein today uh, click pens are very well accepted globally you know their quality uh, concerns are fantastic they are uh, you know customer relations are very good and uh, the, there's nothing to say about the quality the quality is constantly uh, just, just when you think that they have attained perfection that they do something else to make it even better so this is something that uh, is a, a very positive sign coming from an Indian company and um, I am, I should say, proud uh, to be, uh, you know, a user of click pens. Uh, proud as an Indian because this is an Indian product and uh, as they go up the quality and naturally the price uh, range uh, and keep on reinventing themselves, uh, they are becoming a major force to reckon with globally you know click pens are already uh, marking their presence felt in america and there's a huge huge group of uh, people fountain pen lovers in europe and in america who swear by click i mean who um, have a kind of accepted click as a product that uh, they can use and relate with and they can uh, they're using as their daily carry pens so uh, this is a very happy development that is happening and uh, i'm very very glad and proud to be presenting this video to you now uh, this is kind of saffron and uh, we are just in front of 23rd and 26th of january 23rd is netaji's birthday 26th is our republic day so I think I, I, uh, I, uh, I mean, I'm so happy to be saying Jai Hin with uh, a click product, an Indian product, uh, saffron product in my hand. And uh, I hope uh, you guys enjoy it. And I hope I have been able to answer all the questions that you had raised. And um, part of it is also there in the blog, uh, in my blog, because I've also written this down. And uh, I've posted it, so kind of uh, Jai Hind, thank you.